It's never easy to think about suicide or to hear that someone may be having thoughts about hurting themselves. If you're becoming concerned that someone you care for is thinking about ending their life, it's important to feel able to create a safe space to share your concerns with that person and to know what support is out there for them and for yourself. Many people fear that asking direct questions about feeling suicidal or even using the word suicide will increase the likelihood of someone taking their life. Although often, it's more the case that actually expressing concern encourages others to open up and is more likely to reduce the risk. Having these conversations can also bring out strong emotions and very often we are concerned about saying the wrong thing. More important is the ability to offer a loved one a safe space to talk. It's better to have a difficult conversation and be wrong than to avoid sharing your concerns. Listening in a compassionate and non-judgmental way can help put the person at ease. Knowing that you are genuinely concerned for their well-being and safety can give someone the sense that they are not alone and that they can talk about very difficult thoughts and feelings. Although these conversations are never easy, they can actually also help to reduce the risk of suicide and self-harm. That's why a trusting relationship can be so protective and so important in times of crisis. And building trust means being genuine about what we can and cannot do. By not giving false hope, but instead trying to enable and resource the person as much as possible. Safety is about feeling in control and considering the resources the person can draw on to get through what can feel like an impossible or extremely difficult time. For someone in crisis, suicide is less seen as the problem and more of a solution to the problems they are facing. In these situations, a person may struggle to think clearly and may not be able to see all of those options they have before them. But thinking with them about safe solutions can actually make the difference to someone who is struggling. Whilst there are a variety of ways in which we can support a loved one to think through safer solutions, it can be really helpful to hold a few questions in mind. Questions such as, have they felt like this before? What might help them get through right now? Could they imagine feeling the same way this time next month or next year? Can the situation be made safer? Is there anything the person can think of that could help them take their mind off thinking this way? Can they think of anyone else who is there for them? But most importantly, whilst safety is about feeling in control, if the person is at immediate risk to themselves, then explain your concern to your loved one and agree to access emergency services either together or on their behalf. Talking about suicide can be very uncomfortable and very distressing, both for them and for yourself. But it can also be ultimately rewarding and could help to save a life. No one should feel alone. To find out more about how to have safe conversations, as well as the support available to someone you're concerned about, you can access the following links.